Hello Atlassians! Today we will be talking about one of my favorite topics, pirates. And also the role piracy may play in the Star Atlas universe. What's up guys? Welcome to Atlas Theory, the channel for discussions, interviews, and theories surrounding Star Atlas and the metaverse. I am your host, Aaron, and yesterday I put up a poll on Twitter asking which topic you guys would like to talk about first, either like government options or pirates. Pirates won. Now the idea of pirates in Star Atlas and the metaverse was one that popped directly into my head when I first heard about the project. I have been obsessed with pirates ever since I was young, reading Treasure Island for the first time. Now when talking about piracy in Star Atlas, I want to break it into three categories. Number one would be timeline and the cataclysm. Number two would be piracy and their relation to guilds and factions. And number three, I want to throw a little speculation out there onto a hint at an important character in the Star Atlas universe. Let's get into number one. I am really interested in seeing where we are dropped in on the timeline. If you guys have been paying attention to the NFT poster releases, you would know that they release a little bit of lore with each poster. If you haven't been paying attention to this, I'll put a link down in the description so you can catch up on all things Star Atlas. So we know there is this area called the Cataclysm that's just full of riches and minerals and data. And we know that this is going to be basically the gold rush of this metaverse. But what we don't know is if we come at the beginning of that or sometime during maybe after the dust has settled a little bit. But let me read you what we do know. This is from the Heart of Star Atlas poster release. It says, at the core of Star Atlas lies a treasure trove of priceless data. After an unsuspecting deep space explorer discovers the Cataclysm, he scans its riches, creating what will once be known as the first intergalactic data block. He sells this invaluable information to all three rival factions, igniting a lethal spark that forever changes the course of history. But like I said before, we don't really know if we're like dropped in after like there are ships already going back and forth between the Cataclysm or whatnot or where we truly lie when we enter the game. But if you're like me reading this, then you're already like, dang, I want to get a group together and uh, hang out and uh, steal some of this data from the ships going back and forth. And that's where this whole idea of space pirates comes in. So whether it's like a career path or a guild faction thing, I think space pirates will be a huge part of this whole game. Now in the context of piracy, um, these three rival factions that they're talking about, I could see maybe at the very beginning pirates joining together from those same factions, but I think later on um, we're going to kind of evolve into making our own guilds and, uh, you know, decentralized autonomous groups. Of course, guys, this is all speculation. This is all exciting stuff. So let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comments below related to piracy or anything to do with space pirates. Now, as these groups form together and grow in numbers, I do believe that they will need a hub. We saw this play out in the real world through Nassau. A quick Google search says, the Republic of Pirates was the base or stronghold of a loose confederacy run by privateers turned pirates in Nassau on New Providence Island in the Bahamas. Now a loose confederacy, like it mentions, kind of reminds me of the Pirates of the Caribbean, the hoist of the colors scene where all the pirates from the different factions or countries are uniting together basically under one banner. And I think eventually that will probably happen in this game as piracy plays out. But who knows, this is just a theory. There's a lot of other things we can deep dive into concerning pirates in later episodes if you'd like, such as putting the fear into your enemies as a swarm of ships come off of your star base. Or perhaps a very unique pirate ship is able to bash into yours, destroying it. Either way, what we do know is many of us will experience the true fear of facing a pirate fleet in deep space. Now let's get into point three again, guys. This is all speculation. So let's discuss a character that was briefly mentioned before 
that may play a bigger role than we know. Like the Heart of Atlas text reads, after an unsuspecting deep space explorer discovers the cataclysm, he scans its riches, creating what will be known as the first intergalactic data block. I think we may have a Captain Nathaniel Flint on our hands. Now, according to the text, he does sell this data block, but what else did he discover there? What riches did he take first? Has he stashed them away on an island like Treasure Planet? I personally think it would be really cool if they had some kind of star treasure map similar to Treasure Planet that leads us or that we can hunt for maybe this secret planet. Not only would this search for this treasure be like such a thrill ride, but it would be really cool to see how players unite or fight against each other in the conquest to find this treasure. And that is your Star Atlas speculation for the week. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy. Again, Let's open a discussion. Leave your ideas down below for how piracy may work in Star Atlas. Um, things that I'm missing. We're all new to this game. We all have ideas of how things could play out. So I really want to hear yours. If you've enjoyed this episode, please consider subscribing for more Star Atlas videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, Atlassians. Peace.